Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing just a reading for the first week of January starting today. So January 2nd through the 8th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and 11th house placements. And so once your guys' birthday, happy new year, okay? So I'm just going to pull two tarot cards for what the current energies you guys have going into January. You know what? I'm not going to do any reversals because... I'm just not feeling it right now, okay? So what are the, what is the mood as Aquarius goes into this first week, all right? Got the world, all right? So completing a cycle, being quite excited about a new cycle, okay? Feeling like uh, bygones are bygones, and we've got Eight of Pentacles. So really working, investing in something specific, on a project, on just maybe even yourself, okay? But putting a lot of energy into something. You're ready to invest a lot in something. You completed something else, and now you're ready to start something new and really be recognized for it and feel like success from it. And you may even already be feeling that, okay? So what are some of the things that Aquarius needs to grieve or let go as they go into this first week, all right? So what are they grieving or letting go of energies? Smoke and visions and diamond and promise, okay? Um, they could have had ideas of how they thought things would be, but they realized um, in 2019, they weren't working out. Some of you guys might have had like a divorce or like a marriage issue with diamond and promise, okay? So you had a view of what your life was going to look like, maybe with a specific person, and it didn't work out, and that's what is complete. Like maybe the divorce papers went through, maybe their relationship just finally ended, and you guys, but I don't feel like you're in a bad place. I feel like you feel pretty free, okay? So you made a promise, and this is what I was asking what you guys have to let go of. So it just could have been a vision of what you thought your future would be, but I feel like you guys are ready to have a new perspective, all right? So I'm going to pull some cards for what are the energies supporting you in this new week and new year here, okay? Fungi, funeral, moderation, sobriety, healthy choices, okay? Some of you guys could be in sobriety, quarantine, retreat, seclusion, and inward journey. There's mushrooms in both of these. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. Feeling numb, severe stress, disassociation, and shock. Wow, that's a big jump from the other message I was getting. But some of you guys could really be in recovery and you're ready to make a promise to yourself to put down a drug or substance or whatever that you know gets you out of your mind and some of you guys could be feeling numb you could be feeling like this is a really hard thing to tackle but i do feel like you're ready to invest in it and you're done with this cycle of maybe using drugs or drinking or something like that i do see sobriety and healthy choices it could also just being sober in your relationships okay get like eliminating toxic people you might feel very disappointed but i feel like you know you're on the right path here okay all right, so I'm going to pull for to see what's going on with you guys in this dynamic, okay, um, that you're in, all right? So we're going to pull from Wisdom of the House of the Night and then also Mystic Moon Oracle and see. Oh, no, I have to take these. I definitely feel like there's something ending for you guys, but it's also like a brand new beginning. And I really feel like you're ready to put that energy into yourself here, okay? All right, what do we got going on with you guys? The answer is yes and confidence, okay? So I do feel like you guys have that confidence. That was that eight of pentacles. That's what that was all about, okay? So I feel like you guys are feeling very confident about the future and moving forward and letting the past go, okay? So also the answer is yes could be like the person you're dealing with has more confidence in this relationship, in this dynamic, okay? Um, they're ready to move forward with you as well if you're dealing with this partnership, I've got awakening and oath. Yeah, I feel like 
this person you're dealing with is ready to take an oath, ready to commit to this relationship. They're awakening, they're seeing the value of this dynamic. So this is really cool, okay? The masculine, I feel like specifically is really starting to awaken and be more honest with himself and be more honest with you. So I love that and big dreams and deceit okay this is kind of what i was getting in the beginning with the visions and like the idea like maybe you guys were lying to yourselves about something that like you thought would happen but i feel like don't you know don't turn away from your big dreams okay don't let yourself tell you you can't have these dreams either and um you guys could be dealing with a cancer or pisces with this moon here it could be that you know when the moon comes around you're gonna have a lot of like battles with like having to like honor your dreams and not letting other people or yourself deter you from that and deter you from there could have been you know in this dynamic someone that lied or they said that they didn't feel a certain way but i feel like that's you guys know what's like the dream in your heart and the connection that you have okay and you see this person awakening and you see that they're coming more forward all right so i'm going to pull from the twin flame messages volume two and see what this person wants to communicate to you that they haven't communicated to you yet okay i guess i'm going to take that because it wants to come out i see a part of you and everyone i meet you're all i've ever wanted yeah this person is definitely awakening you still hold a piece of my heart none of these are about like an apology or something went wrong i feel like you know if you guys made a promise to each other i feel like you guys are changing the vision of what your relationship was going to be because i got that visions in the beginning but i feel like there's still that commitment there there's still that oath in their heart and as they awaken they're valuing you more and more okay so you guys might have taken separate paths but i feel like they're still telling you that you they still honor you and they still honor this connection and you're really the only person that they ever wanted okay so i feel like this bond this promise is really strong um maybe you guys started to like loosen your promise on your side a little bit and they started to step up more to the plate and realize the oath that they took and they want to honor this connection and this marriage or whatever it is so i'm seeing a lot of marriage energy you know what i'm just gonna pull from one more card this oral oracle of dragon fang get one more clarity regarding this I feel like there's a big marriage piece going on here for you guys, Aquarius. Healing, yeah. So I feel like you guys could definitely be healing what was like once broken, okay? So that's the final message that I have for you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in, Aquarius. I'll see you guys next time, bye.